Welcome to BTG case discussion. So this tooth is a little bit atypical in that typically patients have four wisdom teeth. This patient happens to have three wisdom teeth, 16, 17, and 32, upper left, lower left, lower right. As you can see from this panoramic x-ray that all three of these teeth are fully impacted. So what we're gonna do first is address the lower right side, then focus our attention to the upper left and lower left, complete this case pretty quickly, pretty uneventfully for the patient. At first, we go in after the patient is sedated to the appropriate level and give local anesthesia. We give blocks to the lower. First step is the throat pack and the bite block are in place. A sweetheart retractor is held in place by the assistant who's standing across the chair from me. And using a Minnesota retractor, we bring the buckle soft tissue out of the way so that we can visualize everything that's going on in the mouth. We take a 15 blade scalpel and make an incision with a distance buckle release down and to the lateral aspect of the mandible. After we've made that incision, we use the sharp end of our periosteal elevator to dissect the soft tissue off of the lateral aspect of the mandible, starting mesially of the second molar, elevating the papilla, going back and bringing the full thickness periosteal flap off of the mandible. Once we have the full thickness flap elevated on the buckle, I take the wide end of the periosteal elevator and protect the lingual soft tissue. This is done, of course, because of the variability, though predictability, of the lingual nerve in this area. After we have full visibility, I use a high-speed rear exhaust surgical handpiece so that we have no concern about air emphysema in the soft tissue, and I attempt to elevate, in most cases, using my 301 elevator very, very simply. In the case of certain teeth, there is a little bit more bone removal that needs to occur on the distal buckle. We do that with the same handpiece. This happens to be a Lindemann burr. It's a pretty aggressive, long shank burr that cuts bone and allows us to remove a tooth without too much concern. I go back to the 301 elevator and using my forcep, uh, specifically a Frings 150, we remove the tooth atraumatically, irrigate out the area, and using a serrated double-ended spoon curette, we remove any of the residual follicle and soft tissue in the area. Once that's loosened up, we take a rongeur, remove that tissue, irrigate finally, close up the area, in this case using my traditional needle holder, and curved scissor with a 3-0 gut suture. We get primary closure and the patient is hemostatic. We move to the other side.